Oh man. You have to excuse me a little bit as I talk over this part here, but you have no idea the amount of headache we've actually been through for this past week. So, once again, sorry I'm talking over this, but it's kind of be a solo commentary, just me, not Evo, and I'll explain that too. Um, so, this week, I upgraded my PC earlier in the week, so hooray, this will actually be, uh, someone else can record now, not just Evo, I can do it at my house too, which is what I'm doing right now. The reason I'm doing that and he's not here is because it's almost midnight on the Thursday, you know, the day before this actually comes out, and he's actually gone, has to get ready for work. I luckily had tomorrow off, so I can actually record this. Now, the reason why I'm doing it now is because he tried to upgrade his PC l yesterday, and what happened was... I guess he destroyed his motherboard or something, he's making a lot of whining and whirring noises and he couldn't uh, edit this video because it froze at his place, so he gave me his external drive and uh, I went to go do it over here. For some reason the audio track that we had on Audacity only gave us half of the audio recording. I mean his hard drive is the whole thing, but for some reason it decided to only give us about 30, so I was like, alright, fine, um, see if you can't try to get you know, upload the audio recording to internet and I'll download it so I can edit it here. And no, that wouldn't work. So this is, this is plan B. Um, I'm watching this through the uh, editing software and I'm commentating over this. So if you got sick, didn't get sick of my voice, um, you're just going to have to make do. Use this as AMSR, you know, your own uh, cure for insomnia, you know, my voice is lovely, you know, it sounds like Ben Stein had a kid with Henry Kissinger. <laughs> so, there's going to be kind of some random camera shaking, and, you know, that was probably back when I was playing it, I was actually talking over it, and had, you know, so many points, very poignant things to say as the game was going on, but nope. I'm just going to kind of talk over this and do the best I can for what I was planning on doing. Um, so at this section, what just happened? Oh, we're on the beach, wandering around, doing the thing you do in these games, looking for collectibles, staring at people, getting hammered, stole her booze. And I went over here. Oh, and then I forgot, too, that, you know, this is the pretty much the third layer of us actually trying to get the uh, fucking game recorded because OBS busted on us first time so we had to record it a second time and now this is attempt number three I mean if all the bad things that can happen in one night it's happening now so uh, it's all a learning process like I said this is the first time we're actually doing any of this learning as we go it's hilarious at least I think so. And I hope you at least are enjoying the embarrassment that uh, this has been. I mean, this is how we learn. This is, we're making contingency plans, going as we can. I can't remember if I started talking about, uh, what was it, something in Gallant. Yeah, this, every time I shake the mouse, I realize it's me talking, making a point. You know, it's real important I shake it. Uh, yeah, I'm going to be doing a lot of this exhale thing. I had the fan off because it was blowing on me, and now I am sweating my balls off in this very tiny room I'm in. I can't open the windows because all the screens have holes in it, and I don't want mosquitoes because they sting and make me all itchy. So, if you can imagine someone in a super tiny room that's probably 80 or 90 degrees in this room, uh, just doing the best I can, squinting, because this editing window that I'm watching this in is... I can't see the text at all, so... Uh, my guy looks happy, just hanging out by himself. This guy looks like his finger's broken. I don't know how you can actually do that pose like that. I mean, I don't know if they forgot to add in the cigarette or if he's throwing gang signs. I mean, it's not the bloods. Bloods are the red, so. And then 
I've only seen one crypt and he was doing calisthenics, so maybe they're keeping themselves separated. Who knows how they run things up here? This is a sketchy ass utopian society these people have built for themselves. Oh, and then finally, I think I've exhausted all of the dialogue and everything I felt like going to, and now we're actually going to progress with the story hey, as mister. they watch the lady dance. She's having a time of her life, this. everyone's clapping. There's a crypt. And there's a blood. Iris Jake's bringing them together. It's amazing. Miss Elizabeth. Hello. Oh, this is wonderful. Well, come dance with me, Mr. Twin. I don't dance. Come on, let's go. Why? Well, you can't you tell if... This? They're really trying to do like the so eyebrow animations that they do it makes it seem like they're trying to mimic what is it the uh, uh, I can't even think of the name of the animation company right now they do like Bugs Life they always do those weird eyebrow things it's kind of awkward uh, all right I'm, it's it's not coming to me beaches I know don't smell much like that. All the beaches I know have seagulls and needles on them. Those fucking guys. I mean, I go to the beach. I, I go to relax. I don't go to exercise, especially in those suits. Comstock. I've read about him. They say he can see the future. Give a man a little power, he falls in all kinds of love with himself. I don't like his look. Do you dislike the look of the prophet? Oh, I remember this part now. Um. I remember Comstock, you know, making a big deal of this lady, but I guess he never actually met the lady before. I don't know, I bet you I had some real insightful comments about it, I don't know, I'm just going around looting stuff. Aren't we the As you do. Types? I mean, people would, you think people in this town would, you know, that the lady's up there and that tower that got destroyed, they would kind of know what, maybe what she looks like, the call of the lamb. I'll keep an eye out for something that might ease your pain. Uh, I don't know how falling in that water would have hurt me. I mean, I'm not limping. Oh yeah, and this guy with his dumb look in his face, he's just sitting there, yeah, look at me again. I remember this part. And I stole his candy, he didn't even care. I mean, the other guy didn't even care, he's too busy crushed over. And then, Anarchist Loose. I don't know, they seem pretty happy with the utopian society up here. I don't know how they could actually have any anarchist in here, you know, threatening them. But I guess, you know, if you want to... It's better to keep your culture society in check with, you know, unsubstantiated fear of the others to keep everyone in line. Oh, now we've got a choice. I'm just taking my time. She looks like... Oh, yeah. She looked like that lady who was in the uh, video that we watched a while ago, you know, the top scientists. I think that's the huge point I was making here. God, just move ahead. I'm getting annoyed watching myself. I can't imagine how you guys feel. Amazing. Which one do you like more, this one or, or this? The bird is beautiful and the cage is somber, but there's really something special about it. There's I nothing special decide. about a cage. I don't know. Do you think they would have made a, a little bit more of a easier, cho harder choice, maybe? Well, with why would you want to go with a cage? It seems depressing as hell. Are you sure? I'm sure. I love it. There's nothing happy and joyful about a cage. I wouldn't want to. Oh, and then we looked up Sofa Street the first time we recorded, and then the second time we talked about it, and then I try to remember what it was. Are you all right? Uh, faults. Well, is it faults arguments to make up your claim better? I don't know. Or might be a straw man for some reason. I don't know. Oh, and then there was the scary kids. And then I tried to redo my point about people losing their mind over this idol when, you know. Oh, God. I, I'm not even going to try to explain what it was because it was so bad. But Jesus Christ, move. I'm sitting here, the second time I recorded it, Evo's right next to me, and I'm like, hey, you know, why are people freaking out over this stuff? If you, you know, your faith should be strong enough where if, you know, something like this happened, you should be able to uh, 
persevere through it. But I don't know why I'm sitting here staring at it for long. I don't need to explain this hard. Yeah, there's everyone. It's one of those things in cults. Where at the unwavering faith you think people would have a little bit more in their leaders if they decided to live in a giant floating city that he built. They'd be like, yeah, you know, I'm kind of all in. I would, I would, I'd listen to you. Oh. I don't know if I was still talking about it. Was the songbird when oh. oh, then they talked to Songbird because I guess they didn't know the Songbird was literally the one who actually did this. I guess the Crips are hanging out here on the boardwalk above as it keeps vomiting pieces of metal out of its structure, I guess. That guy. What I want to know is, oh. why is there never a handyman around when you need one? What are they good for? Except scaring people with their grotesque disabilities. Uh, this woman hates fucking those giant monstrosities from earlier in the game that, you know, during that little tutorial area, I guess. They're just going to be an issue. I really need to wrap up my points faster than this. I guess you can call this a review more than anything else. As I said, we're learning as we go, and I've learned from watching this now that, Jesus Christ, I dilly-dally quite a bit. And I think I need to drink more. Make sure you have a piece of photographic identification ready for presentation. Put those I don't know arms if that's a like alcoholic Legs past. Oh, and then Stand squinting still. at this is talking steady. about a dwarf, uh, five foot nine there. dwarf, and I was I just laughing at it. And now I'm play acting a dwarf because I was way too tall otherwise. I mean, it was kind of obvious. All these people are too tall, and, just to find this one man. and they're searching this guy's pocket for some reason. I mean, he's four foot nine. He's not going to fit in any pockets of any jackets or anything. I mean, give me a break. And then she got stuck in my way, and then I'm like, this is an issue with NPCs sometimes. They get in your way, and you have to move way out of the way to have him leash a bit, and then walk past him. It's kind of an issue I had in Skyrim all the time. 99% of the time, I just ended up having the guy stay back as I snuck up and killed everybody. Then I had to just carry my shit. You know, line never sworn to carry my burdens. Hey, hey, copper. Look at this one. I stole He's this suspicious guy's booze. If you ask me. All right, all right, quiet down there, Pete. Let's go home and dry yourself out. Drunk boy, Pete. Just a town drunk. Stole his booze. <sighs> Damn things locked. What are you doing? You're a roguish type. What does it look like? Done. Yeah. I think maybe at this point we also started talking about she was able to rip open those portals and she kind of closed it because that ambulance was sneaking up on her or about to run into her. I mean, she could always at any time open one of those things up and go wherever the hell she wants. I don't know why she never did it. I mean, maybe that's something I overlooked in the game at some point and oh. Or they simply leave it in ruins for me to clean up later. Oh, uh, hello, sir. Don't you pay me no never mind. Just some foolishness, you know. <laughs> Just monkey shines. Really uncomfortable. I don't know why. I mean, it's kind of a period piece, and if you're going to be in the period, you, I guess, talk like it. Try to be as... Uh, legitimate's the wrong word, but it's the only one I can come up with. And then I'm looking at more Goofus and Galan, whatever they call them in this game. That highlights thing. Hey, I found these silver eagles. There's a vending device. There might be something to bring you uh, She must have pit pocketed one of those people in the line if I had to think about it. And then I've hoarded so much stuff, I don't need any of this. Kind of looked at it, and I'm like, I don't need any of it. Maybe I bought some stuff. I don't know. I kind of felt obligated. I'm kind of watching this through a half window as I'm watching my Audacity recording right next to it. And now I'm actually moving it so I can see that side of the screen to see if I actually did buy any. Oh. Try asking the girl a few key questions. 
such this as This looks important. Don't you think those Vox Populi it folks have is. a valid complaint against the Prophet? And I'm sure some of your friends have attended meetings. I'd sure like to see what they're all about. Now, back to the music. I never remembered the olden times being this ham-fisted when it came to suggestions about how to root out the communists. Oh, when it's another I speech. Oh, but now I got a fancy hat. That... Uh, I can't read that. I'm, I'm blind. I really was. should wear my eyeglasses. Seemed like heaven. Then your eyes adjusted to the light, and you saw that sea of white faces looking hard back at you. Looked like heaven. What was I doing? Oh. And then we're like, hey, when's the checkpoint? I probably should edit this part out, but I'm not going to. This is a massive headache when as I it is. Now I'm mashing buttons, Columbia. trying to find things. That sky was the brightest, bluest sky that ever was. I don't know what I was doing. <laughs> hey, like oh, yeah. We'd like to help you. Do I, I mean, you? Back at the and then these two. And you saw that sea of white Without you, we wouldn't have gotten back at you. And we're wondering if, maybe if you chose the wrong option back when you were checking a baseball at those people on stage, if these people would still be here, but I'm not about to restart the game. I've had to restart chapters already the second time I recorded this. I don't know if I want to jump through those hoops again. But I hit more bullets. Since I'm not using any of the spells, I might as well stick with this. Yeah, give me the bullet boon. Yeah, you're a smart one. There you go, me. And there's always that other issue of hearing yourself, and uh, then they lumped in the Irish with them. And I was wondering why they generally would lump them in there because, you know, they're cat white Catholics, and you think with the theme of the rest of this game, they would be totally accepted. And then, I think at some point in here, and then this guy looks so sad. This little black guy was laughing kind of hard at him right here. What's that? Hey, you go, little miss. Cotton candy here. It's your cotton candy. You know, for the amount of mate, and this is another thing I've thought about in here, the amount of mayhem and destruction that has happened so far in this town scary kids you'd think that these people would actually uh, would be sitting here having as much fun inside of a arcade like this you know there's a guy running around with a gun just shooting all the police you think there would be some sort of lockdown I mean, not even talking about that giant Statue of Liberty up here just torn in half um, and then Goof is a gallant and Witten Duke. Polish the gun. Don't steal it and go shoot things by yourself. That's what they're trying to tell you. And then all these creepy dolls. I wouldn't want any of these. You'd have to have one hell of an imagination back then. I've been so spoiled as a kid. I mean, look what they were doing for fun. They were twirling around. They're spinning in a circle in a giant arcade. All of this stuff is so boring to them. Oh. And then it was like, hey, we gotta watch this stuff. There's three of these in a row. And we watched them in the wrong order. So this was the last one you were supposed to see. We we're watching it first. Cowardly. America wants it back. They say no. And that was funny. Hey, City's like, no, we don't want to deal with you, so we're just gonna fuck off to the clouds. I thought that was kind of hilarious. Hey, and this is me explaining that. It's the oh. newest one in the series. I read it was delayed three. And the second one, well, we didn't watch this one in the wrong order because there's only three. I can do math. And now I'm trying to remember if the Chinese Boxer Rebellion had to do with a labor uh, revolt. It's been a while since I took that history course. And then the city's like, we're going to go protect the Americans that are stuck in China. And then Washington said no. And then if you look at the other one, they say, fuck you, we're going off to the sky. And then I was sitting there thinking, when you first started the game, there was those three guys hanging out. At, when you were in that little garden area, you had one of Benjamin Franklin, you had one of Thomas Jefferson, and there was also a George Washington. And if Washington, unless there's another magic Washington I can't think of right now, um, 
why would they idolize that guy if he's the one that they was kind of the catalyst for this city flying off to the sky? I don't know. It's a strange thing to think of. I mean, this was kind of like a traveling World's Fair if you think about it, because it was supposed to be the best of America, I guess. And yeah, we're manifest destiny, you know. We're not just having to do with taking over the West. I guess we're going to go so far West, we're going to take over the East, too. Just kind of spread the goodness of America, as we think. And I guess it got perverted to the point where they think that the only good Americans are, you know, the only certain type of white, because, as you said before, it was all the Irish. And now I'm sitting here slowly explaining everything I just explained again. Oh, man. And this guy looked almost as sad as that other guy who was serving cotton candy. And now I'm explaining it some more. Jesus Christ, I gotta, I, this is, this is hard to watch. Because, uh, so much standing around. Come on, get on with it. You don't have to, s come on, there you, there you go. I mean, you, you. Sorry, sir, but it'd be my pleasure to offer you a refreshment. It looks very sad. Let's give me that salt. Salty soda. I mean, it can't be any worse than those Thanksgiving sodas or those other shitty-ass novelty sodas that they make. I mean, they're just living off of the Hi, gag sir. alone, I guess. Would you happen to have the time? It's about 7.30. Oh, <laughs> thank you. She wanted a piece, and then she cock-blocked me. Oh. Take a photograph with the father of our and it's this guy's voice. He, uh, David Hayter? I think that was his name. He does so many things. I guess I kind of know him the best for what's his name in Cowboy Bebop. What kind of a pain in the ass it was to make one of these turn of the century robots. I mean, granted, we're in a flying city, so I really should just spend a little bit of belief, I guess. I don't know. Comstock will take care of them. I don't know. All right. Sometimes I think the Vox Wander around. Popular, I think I wanted a picture of them. I mean, I've never even seen oh. one. That's the oh, now they're talking about... You can't see them, but they're everywhere. Maybe it's just all fabricated. Maybe it's just all to keep people in line, like I said. And then those kids haven't thrown up yet, so I guess that's going to be worth something. And now I'm like, which way do I go? I don't know. I have to hit the button to find out which way the path is going. And which way where the path is going, I go the opposite. Yep, there we go. Got to make sure I get everything. And Why is one bathroom for colors and the other for whites? It just is. It seems like an unnecessary complication. Oh, such a naive... Naivete. Well, you nope. we got to... Keep doing my ritual of destroying all the water As up here. Boy, I'll listen I to this guy. Like all dogs, Bill was a loyal friend. If we had not fed him, Are you all right Bill there? Would have been loyal. everything's fine. I'm listening to exposition, lady. Bill would have been loyal. Go, Bill. Only when the colored man can make that claim will he take his place in society. I, mean, I was half paying attention again to this. Something about minute. being as good as a dog, then the colored man can be trying to good too. Arrested? I don't know. I really should be paying attention to this more, but I'm very tired. That is no excuse, I know, but uh, I don't know where you found that lady. Maybe in one of these toilets. I don't know what women do in toilets. Maybe they throw money at people. But. I'm wasting as much water as I can. I fit in with the times. Oh. And then we come to the... Oh, as hit the wrong button. Now we gotta... I had a dog couldn't figure out how to get rid of that in the background. And then we told to shut up. And now we find out why. I guess it's more stereotype. Meet the drunk. The laggard with his litter of kids. Like a good Catholic. Yeah, strumpet food, man. Oh, old timies. I guess the Irish are the ones. 
far behind the voice of the public. Jeremiah Fink is using them for slave labor, I guess. Or they'll be killed if they don't. Bill was a loyal friend. Oh. If we had not fed him, Bill would have been loyal. Good old Bill. If we had struck him, Bill would have been loyal. Only when the colored man can make that claim will he take his place in society. Again, I wasn't paying attention. Something about beating Bill. I mean, I can't hit a dog. I feel too bad. Even from back then, it was just... I can't... No. Everyone's got their limit, you know. Play those games. One of the first things you always fight is a dog or a wolf. Wolf gets killed and makes that yip noise. I always feel bad. But keep playing it. Being, I was playing Alien vs. Predator at one point. One of the first things you had to do was actually kill a cat. And I was like, oh, I can't do that. Excuse me? Annabelle, it's me, Esther. Oh, no, I'm not Annabelle. Are you sure? My name is Elizabeth. Do I know you? Elizabeth. It's like that Isn't thing that every time you name? get those wrong phone That's numbers and they're like, no, it's not me. And they're like, are you sure? I'm like, bitch, don't question me. I'm going to eat this trash banana. Last and customer. Parks closing. Go through Parks the closing, turntable. I mean, why is he in charge? I'm telling them. Sure the He's not really part of the park. Getting people's shoes shine. I still think it's way too uncomfortable. I can't do it. Shock jockey. Just a cool name. Kind of want that as a poster. Just old timey stuff like that's kind of cool. And I don't know. Oh, yep. And this is like, hey, do we go? No, but then we checked our auto save, and this is a half hour into it. It's one of the annoying things is you can't choose your own save points. This is. And then I got in this guy's face. You're not even looking at me. It's right, punk. I do what I want. It's first lady's aerodrome. Kind of get some hustle and bustle disappears. Why am I? What am I? What am I doing? Stops. Okay. It's super quiet up here. All you hear is that clock. All isolated up here. Kind of quiet. Um, have oh. you got sauerkraut? Sauerkraut. Uh, I guess so. I'll take um one, please. Why would he say oh, guess much? so? One silver eagle. <laughs> All right. This is a really stilted conversation. The guy would know if he has his own food. Uh, they weren't talking. You hold on to this. Catch, Mr. DeWitt. Where are you finding this money? That'll do. You flip a coin real cool, though. Gotta look around. Man, that clock is ticking awful loud. Have to do the thing. Always searching. Oh, and then Excuse it got me. real weird. I felt like everyone was staring at me. It got quiet. This is totally set up for something. I mean, they're really making an effort of making you hear how quiet it is. What do you think, Evil? <laughs> you know, whatever fucking check words there are for being a stupid idiot. You know, I sh if I was smart. I would have pretended to have him in here the whole time. I can really do a good Evo. I just showed you. I mean, hey. I can read your subtitles, buddy. I know what you're saying. Two tickets for passage to the my first lady airship. Yeah, just a minute, friend. Yeah, I have it. How do you uh, want to proceed? In a bit of a rush, pal. Hey, mister. You're gonna get mm -hmm. I got Oop. it. Drop my pen. It's embarrassing. I don't like this. Yes, I don't like this. We're ready to oh, I'm like, should I drive my weapon? Excuse no, I'm going to be a gentleman. Certainly, sir. Sorry about the wait. Ah! Ah! What are you doing? Oh, Get man, that's going to hurt. Get off of me. Yeah, she can handle this. Ah, oh, right in the AIDS. Right. You just stand there. I'm good with the headshots. What can I say? I don't know what she was doing. Get away from me. Was I supposed to let her live? Now that Elizabeth, I think about it, she was she was saying some stuff. Maybe I shouldn't have killed her. 
But she had a health bar on her head. Now I kind of regret what I did. But now I got a cool gun. Shotgun. Uh, maybe I wasn't. No, that's going to bug me now. Maybe I shouldn't have killed her. Uh, now we're getting near the end of the video. So yeah, hopefully this will turn out a little better than last time. Here's the check the checkpoint. Um, yeah, so hopefully next week none of this stuff will happen again. Uh, until next time, folks, have a good one. Stink.